Tyrone Jackson from the Wealthy Investor. Net. Thank you for joining me for another hot educational video. Okay, today we're going to talk about buying on dips and building a position in stocks. Why do the rich get rich? Well, because they have a financial education and they know never ever put your money in a mutual fund. You'll make more money when you're putting your money in stocks. So the number one question I've been getting these days is, how do I get started in the stock market? Well, the first thing you have to do is open an online brokerage account. Now, opening an online brokerage account is very simple similar to opening a checking account, except it allows you access to Wall Street. So what kind of stocks do you want to buy and how do you get rich from holding a stock over a long period of time? Well, this is uh, what we're going to talk about today. Again, this buying on a dip. And if you don't have a lot of money, this video is definitely for you. And if you have a lot of money, you're going to learn something that your mutual fund manager does not want you to know. And that's how to build a position in a stock that is actually rising and making making money. All right. Today, we're going to start off with Costco. Now, if you know anything about the Wealthy Investor Program, you know that we never buy a stock if we have don't have some idea of how the company actually makes money. And another tenet of the Wealthy Investor Program is we never marry a stock. We only date it. In other words, we're going to hold on to this company as long as the company is making money. But we always start off with looking at a five-year picture, which technicians refer to as technical analysis. So if I show you this picture, do these Costco shares have a tendency to rise over the past five years? It's very easy. It's very simple to understand. And a lot of you keep telling me, I love your videos because they're very, very easy, right? Well, trading and investing is essentially very easy once you have an education. If we look at a five-year chart, we'll notice that five years ago, at its lowest point, the stock was trading around what? $54.23. This is Costco. What do they do? They sell memberships to discount superstores, that they, brands that they own. In Wall Street terms, these are called same stores. Now, if Costco owned another round of stores that didn't have the Costco brand, those would be non-same store sales. Here, we're looking at the Costco brand. Now, let's say we actually or put $500 in a brokerage account, and we just wanted to purchase five or six shares of a stock, right? Five years ago at 56 bucks, is that good? Yes. But remember, we're in this game to get wealthy. So even though we're in our shares at about $56, with maybe just three, four, five, maybe 10 shares of a company that we have some experience with, so we feel that we understand the story, here's how we get wealthy in a company like Costco. Every time the stock moves a certain portion, moves up, we're going to buy more. Now, in the Wealthy Investor Program, we call this building a position. And we only add money to a stock that's actually rising. So I'm going to open my account with five or $600 here. I'm ready to start building a position in Costco. If this were five years ago, it'd be around $55 a share. Well, when the stock actually gets to around 60, now every buy signal for every stock is different, but I like to teach a $5 buy signal. So if we started at $55, we wouldn't buy more shares until the stock reaches 60, right? After 60, we would go to 65. Well, look at what's happening is every time the stock is rising, we're getting more and we're now, wealth is a bill that we're going to pay ourselves. So we're going to put in Every single month, $75, $100, $250 into our brokerage account, and we're going to buy more shares of what? Costco as it's rising. And one of the things that you'll discover if you follow the system, there'll be sometimes you'll be buying the stock on what's known as a dip. You see how the stock is here and then it pulls back? Well, that is a normal and natural process. Something may have gone on in the stock market. Um, some of the big institutions sold. And if as long as we're putting money in our account, guess what? We can catch some of these dips and just ride the stock up. Win every five dollars. If this were a different kind of chart and the stock weren't rising, guess what? We wouldn't be buying more. But when you build a position, you just keep buying a couple of shares as the stock rises. Look at what happened in this case. In five years, we rode it all the way up from 50 to where it is today, which is 137. Turns out this is not the only company we can actually do that with. We can have done it, or we could have done it, with Home Depot as well, five years ago. Now, let's do it the wealthy investor way. We never buy the stock if we don't understand the story. What do they do? Home Depot, huge chain, allows homeowners and contractors to come in and buy bulk items at a huge saving. Just so you know, Home Depot does really well in a strong economy because homeowners fix up their homes. Had we come in five years ago on a dip, 
right? When the shares were around what? Let's say 28 or $26, but we'll go with 28. We're not going to buy more until the stock moves about $5 up. Now, sometimes when you're building a position, you can get a huge pullback in the market, which is a great opportunity. You see the swing down here? Okay, if those of you who are, uh, know anything about technical analysis, this is a pullback that's always followed by retracement if the earnings in the company are strong. And when you get a deep pullback, you're usually going to get a very fast run-up. Well, as long as you're putting money in your brokerage account every single month, in a company that's actually generating top line revenue, you're going to get this pattern. So buying stocks is not really that hard if we know to add more money only to the stocks that are actually rising in our account. And look at this. We would have gone from $25 a share or $26 a share five years ago to where the stock is today at $98. So if you want to start building wealth in the stock market, one of the strategies you're going to employ after you get your first round of stocks is to build a position only when the stock actually rises. And quick review, how do we know if the company's actually making money? Well, here on Yahoo Finance, we click the income statement and we want to make sure that both the quarterly revenues, you remember the other videos on this, as well as the annual revenues are always in an upward direction. Why? That puts upward pressure on the stock. Let me tell you something, investing and trading and building wealth in the stock market is much easier than you think. You just have to have the right financial education. Well, let's just do one more thing here with Home Depot. If I know that my approach to the stock market is to only buy more shares in companies that are rising, I would never want to have my money in mutual funds. Why? Mutual funds don't go from $26 a share to $98 a share the way that stock prices do. And we're in this game to buy stocks, assets that are rising over time. All right, let's just do a really quick review. We know that we can open an account at, let's say, E-Trade for $500. We can take our income tax refund or some sum of money, set it aside. Our goal as a wealth builder is to make sure that we're adding increments in every month, every other month. And we're doing what? We're not just guessing with stocks. We're building positions in stocks that have a tendency to rise, right? And we've noticed that Costco fits that bill. And we noticed that Home Depot, a member of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, does the same. All right, so here's the key. You are not locked out of the stock market game. It is now your time to get in it, as long as you have the right financial education, you will be on the road to being not just an investor, but a wealthy investor.